Good morning, Dream Team. It is, what time is it? 6.30 in the morning? Anyway, so we're off to Walmart to get our Labor Day stuff and our groceries for the house. So join me as we come along. So here we're on our way to Walmart. The only bad thing about it is my eyes look like crap and they don't have a Starbucks. <laughs> they do, so, right off road. <laughs> they do? Yeah. Oh, wow. Not in Walmart. Not in Walmart, but out. Oh, yeah, that's right. They have a Starbucks just, outside. They just built one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so. Give it the program, mister. Oh, my Lord. It's going to be informative. Informant. Oh, oh, yeah, so there's a Starbucks outside of Walmart and not inside of Walmart. Oh, they just built it. They just they have a subway for people who like to diet and eat some foods in there, you know. So, anyways, it's... 6.49 and we're on our way in the morning and as you can see there's no traffic going on this Saturday morning as the, we get ready for the Labor Day weekend and there's a guy fishing on the canal. Oh my lord. Oh my Jiminy Crickets. My uh, no, not my Lanta. That's, that's copyrighted for a moment. I don't think it is. <laughs> anyway, so we will, we will see you when we get to, uh, to uh, Walmart and God let me not forget the chilies. All right, amen. <laughs> All right, so we are at Walmart, and we're about to go get the vegetables for the Labor Day barbecue. Uh, got me a quick stop over here because I gotta get some things I see. I usually get all the time, so making a quick stop uh, over here at the bean burrito section. We get my big bean burritos. I usually get, well, anyways. There's the produce department, and we're gonna get some produce for the. Uh, barbecue so just looking around and uh all right thanks we'll be back you know, shortly okay so the secret of the corn is this we're gonna use this for a mexican street corn but instead of doing a whole we're gonna cut them in half so four makes eight so i have eight little small mexican corns that will fix that'll fit into a plate with your ma uh, macaroni and salad your hamburgers you know and your uh and uh and the corn all in one plate. That way it doesn't like overfill or over, you know, there's enough room for everything in there, especially when you do big burgers. So, all right, that's the secret. So you're gonna boil those, cut those in half, and then you'll be all set to go. So anyways, uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here we are cruising around Walmart, trying to get the stuff that we need for the BBQ and everything else we got going on. But now I gotta get some things for, uh-huh. Uh Coming up to the hamburger meat, we're gonna have hamburgers. All right, so let's do a hamburger thing, okay? All right, well actually, you know what? Yeah, let's stop here and take a look at the hamburger meat. There's the ground beef. All right. So this is the basket so far, and we're still at Walmart, and we're still shopping, so yeah, it's gonna take about an hour or so. So anyways, uh, we're gonna get stuff for the barbecue, tune in the, Tune in this weekend or Monday for the Everyday Barbecue Special over the channel, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you in a little bit tomorrow, probably. All right, but this is Walmart, and we're still shopping. So, hey man, it's still early. And I just passed Starbucks coffee on the shelf. I really want to get the Starbucks. All right, bye. Good morning, Facebook fans out there, Dream World and Dream Team. How you doing? Anyways, it is Labor Day. We are finally here. It is Monday, September 6th. It is Labor Day, Monday, and then we're going to have a good time today because it's time to bring out the BBQ. So throughout the day, we're going to be barbecuing some stuff, and we're going to show you how to prepare it. We're going to show you what we got going on and everything else. It's going to be a nice little feast. we got some friends coming over, so it's going to be really cool and uh just stay with us and enjoy the show. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's your problem? What you waiting for? Subscribe to my we channel. We have a sausage more for our things that we barbecue do. that we're going to be doing. Starting up in about that, we're going to chop those up. We're going to put them on the grill. Uh, our next show. And just sit up there and get them nice and good appetizer. Just bear with me. Hang on tight. Next up is our jalapeno. Here we go. Looks really good. Superman punch. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this jalapeno down in the middle and what we're going to do is take all the seeds out from inside 
the jalapeno because you don't want seeds in your burgers and stuff. We want to just have it. You want to have it natural, and uh, want to have it just really just no seed. We have seedless jalapeno sliced very nicely. And these beautiful, beautiful bell pepper that we have here. We're gonna obviously just take the sticker off, and we're gonna slice that down and we're going to take the seeds off of in here too and then we're going to chop it up finely chopped so this is going to go into your burger and of course these beautiful ripe red tomatoes we're going to slice them up and these are for the burgers so we're going to slice up these really nice and good chunks some people like them thin some people like them i like my kind of medium sliced which is not too thin and not too uh not too uh thick to put on the burger so this is what we got to do so we're going to go ahead and start doing that now and then I'll show you what we got with the corn in a little while. All right, stay with us. Bye. As you can see here, this is the finely chopped bell peppers that we have right here. We chopped them up, you know, pretty small. You know, that way it looks really good. And we're gonna mix those in with the hamburger meat. So you don't want them too big, but yet you don't want them too small. We got like a little good crunch to it, you know, so. You know, it's going to go great. You know, you want to see a little bit of it in the burger. Take a crunch out of it. You know, when it's cooking on the grill, it's going to cook. So you want to have that flavor taste to your beautiful burger that's going to be made. Here's what I'm talking about. You see all this right here? This seed. Now, the seeds are really good. You know, I mean, it does give it the... the but for, what we're, for the purpose that we're doing, we're going to take the seeds out of here. And you see how I chopped up and I pretty much just sliced it in half. It's like a boat. You know, and uh, what you can do with these too is you can actually, oh wow, you can take some of these out, this whole thing out, and the seeds and everything, and becomes like a hollow boat inside. Great with some cream cheese in the middle, and maybe a little bit of cheese on top. And you can slap that in the oven, you know, or maybe even your, your, your oven would be better. Slap it in the oven, let it bake in there for like maybe 10, 15 minutes. So the cheese starts to melt and everything in there and it gets a little warm and you know and it cooks up a little bit and you have like a little uh like a popper popper but you know like a little boat popper with no top on it you know and you can just crunch it you know if it's cooked it's gonna be nice and soft and a little crunchy so it'd be nice to put like cream cheese in it maybe some cheese on top but yeah that's what we can do but right now our purpose is we're gonna take all this stuff out and what we're going to do is we're going to clean it out and then we're going to slice it thinly sliced like we did over with the with the um, bell peppers so all right we'll see how that looks all right well it's done so here's your ear corn it's a basic standard ear corn what we're going to do is we're going to take the shucking we're going to shuck the corn take this layer leaves off we're going to cut it cut that off we're going to cut it right down the middle so we got four corns, it's gonna be eight medium sized corns. All together for our street corn. All right? So I'll just give you, I'm gonna take all that off. I'm gonna take all this off right here, just gonna shut it, throw it in the garbage, cut it in half, and make eight medium sized corns. And I'll show you how it's that's when it's all done. So after they're done, and we've done shucking, we're gonna cut it in, it's about the size that you're gonna have right there. Nice little medium sized corn. So instead of buying eight whole things of corn, we just cut them in half and made four of these. All right, so that's the corn. Now we're gonna wash them, take all this other little junky stuff in, then we're gonna boil them and get them ready and for the next step. Okay, all right, see you soon. So here's the stuff for the Mexican. First of all, let's start with your Mexican fudge cheese. This is from Mexico. So you see it looks like Parmesan. There's actually Mexican cheese. You can coat with that. And we have red chili flakes. Okay. We have our chili powder. And if you really want to spice it up a little bit, some cayenne pepper. Okay. And we're going to have Mayonnaise, made kind of mayonnaise, and butter. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to take the mayonnaise and the butter, and we're gonna put it into a bowl, and we're gonna mix it together so it becomes nice and creamy. Okay, so when the corn is done, and nice and hot, we're gonna spread it over 
the corn to coat it all. And then we're gonna dice it, and we're gonna coat it with some of this Mexican cheese. And then sprinkle it with some chili powder, red flakes, a little bit of cayenne, can you give it a little kick? And then some sauce, some little Mexican sauce on top, sauce on top. All right, so I'll show you the finished product when it's all done. Okay, so here we have our mixture for our corn, yeah. which is butter and mayonnaise. And this is what it looks like. Okay, here is the coating, which is the Mexican cheese and that. So all we gotta do now is wait, wait till the corn is done and nice and hot. And we're gonna go ahead and start coating it and put it all together for the final show. And there on the table over there, or I should say the counter, sits our tomato slices and our onion slices ready to go with the burger. And over here we have the pot of corn is starting, is going to be boiling and corn is to be cooking. And again, we still have our, our jalapenos and our peppers and of course the sausage now cut up with slices. So, all right. Well. So this is what the burgers look like after you put them in a bowl with your onions, your peppers, which are green and jalapeno, and you form a burger out of them, this is what they're gonna look like. All right, so that's all done there. The patties are already made. I gotta do set them on the grill and cook them. I would cook them for about maybe five minutes on each side depending on how hot the grill is. But beef does cook faster, so you gotta remember. And you want that beef, you want the beef to be nice and juicy. So when you take a bite of it, you can taste all the flavors inside. We also use seasonings of some lemon pepper and Butter salt. butter salt on there to give it a nice good flavor to it when you and bite it. Pepper. And of course, yes. So, and um, of course, it looks like some pepper too. Yeah, there's a little bit of peppers in there. All right, so that's what it look like now. Which here's a secret to a burger, okay? If you put a burger on like that, more likely they'll shrink, okay? But the secret is, and you can use this if you want to. You always want to put your thumb in the middle and make a little push hole in there like that. That keeps the burger from shrinking when you put it on the grill. All right, you can see out the window, they're cooking the burgers. All right, woo, look at them burgers go. Look at that, oh yeah. They're cooking really good, they're on the grill, and they're smoking. This is almost the finished product. You gotta flip them, you gotta flip them. Look at that, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they're nice, very, very nice, okay. So it is late and I am beat. So I just want to say, hope everybody has a happy Labor Day. Enjoy your barbecue. Enjoy spending time with your family and friends on this holiday. Thanks for joining us. Good night, Dream Team, and we'll see you next time in Living the Dream. I am out of here.